Hey, what's up guys? So winter is here in North America and I've always been curious on how much temperature affects battery performance. So I did a range test on my WowGo AT2 in the cold weather. I decided to try to keep all variables as constant as possible. Same board, same speed. I can't control the actual winter jacket and how much fat I put on my body over the last couple months, but I've added about five pounds, five extra pounds of weight. I don't think five extra pounds is going to affect the range as much. So without further ado, let's get into the data. My first run in the summer, I did about 16.4 miles, and that is with 600 feet of elevation. I've ridden the board until the last battery bar disappears. I weighed about 200 pounds back then, and the temperature was about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's not that windy. I don't know how fast the wind was moving, but it was not that windy on the day in which I did the test in the summer. Now, this winter test, I, you know, try to ride at the same speed, use the same board, and um, that extra winter jacket probably weighs about five pounds more. This time I got 13.6 miles. It's the same 600 feet elevation, ridden the board until last battery bar disappears. I weigh now 205 pounds. Temperature is at 42 degrees Fahrenheit and there's not that much wind. I've chosen a really clear day to do this. Now the summary is that there is a 2.8 mile difference um, in between these two runs. And that is about a 17% decrease of range from the 16.4 miles that I've gotten before in the 82 degrees Fahrenheit temperature range. Now with the 43 degrees of Fahrenheit drop in temperature, that on average is about a 0.065 of a mile loss in range per degree of Fahrenheit loss. There are a couple caveats to this, is that the relationship of temperature and distance is most likely not linear, which means it's probably not a relationship where um, every Fahrenheit drop in temperature, you lose 0 0.065 of a mile. You're probably going to lose less range towards the hotter end of the temperature range and lose more range towards the colder end of the temperature. That makes sense as you get into freezing and below freezing, you're probably going to get a lot, a lot less range than what you usually get. I think it's most likely that there is a performance threshold where if temperature drops below a certain number, performance degradation would increase drastically. And it's also likely that when temperatures go below 43 degrees, you'll actually lose range. You will lose range at a much quicker rate than the 0.065 miles average that I've tested. Also. Different batteries and different boards and different setups may experience different rates in drops in temperature, right? Just because it's true for the WowGo 82 doesn't mean it will be exactly the same as your board. Um, but I'm pretty confident that this is a correct general direction, right? Now in the next couple months, when temperature drops below zero, which is 32 degrees, I'm gonna go out there and give it a test again and see if we see more performance deg degradation, right? So this is something very interesting that I wanted to see. And also in the summer, once we get into very hot temperatures, 90 degrees hitting 100 degrees, I really wanna go out there and test again and see, you know, like, is there, a such drastic um, decrease in performance for hotter temperatures as well. Please stay tuned for more updates, like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And also let me know what type of performance decreases you guys have seen over the winter. I'm really curious. Let me know what board you have and what type of performance decrease that you're seeing. All right, thank you and uh, have a good day, ride safe.